Yo, yo, Rengulius here. If you were watching, Wrench feels like playing, Death Must Die. Uh, Act 2 just came out today, and I uh, thought I'd give it a try. Um, I really enjoy this game. I have a lot of hours put in this game already, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, I guess we got a new character here. Um, an archer. Sweet. Guess I have a couple things. What are you doing here? Glad to see me, sis. Why? I'm here to save the day. Get in line. Okay, so I guess she's our sister. Why is that glowing green? Is that what Avron wanted to say? So you were the first to come here? Yes. Not to be rude, but how is it always human? Gods must really like us. Or hate you. Or that. I believe we get to get into Act 2 now, um, so that should be interesting to see what that's like. Um, so our name is Lauren, Lorian. So Act 1 has a bunch of 6,000 skeletons, 4,000 oozes. Beat 50 summoners. Win an attempt at level 5 difficulty, which we have done. Ghost matter. Win an attempt without taking any damage. See, that seems... That seems fucking impossible, but... Maybe it's not. Blackheart. Win an attempt with 10 difficulty, which we have done. And defeat the Baron, which we have. So... The only one that we haven't done is taking no damage, which just, that doesn't seem even possible. Um, go talk to uh, Scatty. Hi, I'm Scatty. Greetings, Highlander. I am Lauren, Prince of the Sky Gates. Well, you could say I'm royalty myself. Oh? Is it good to have another person in class around here? Uh, they call me the reindeer ruler. I won three first places in the races. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, Nixie. I didn't think I'd ever see a moon elf. I'm not a moon elf. Oh. You're, uh, from the underground. Disappointed? Yes, a little. And Grant. I'm Lorian, Prince of the Sky Glade. As long as you're not king, those tend to lose heads. Astonishing, you're Grant. I thought you were dead. Ha! Many things still around. Okay, let's see if I have any thing I can equip right away. So, Fading Cloak, 80 Evasion, plus 21 more Expert Offers. So he wears Light Armor. That seems pretty good. Plus 80 Evasion, and 21 more Dashes have a chance to recharge. I wonder if the, uh, they uplifted the uh, only one person can carry or like equip an item thing. So I feel like those were equipped to uh, a different person at one point. Okay, um, hood. 71% strike damage. 7.5 more expert offers. So strike damage. Hmm. 
So they changed the damage types. I kind of remember reading about that. Okay, so 71% more strike damage. So I'm assuming that's like physical attack. I'm an archer. Well, I'll just equip this for now. It's a lot. That's pretty high percentage. And then more expert. 7.5% more expert. 21% more expert. So let's just equip this for now. 80 evasion. Summon damage. Alterations banishes. Negative 48% shorter enemy barriers, which is pretty freaking decent. I don't tend to do summons unless I am like... The only time you actually do summons is when uh, you get more... I only really ever take the, the ravens. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Your dashes dashes have a chance to recharge your dash for 10%. 4% chance to heal life on attack. That's not very high. Huh. That's not very that's like okay, it's not very good. Um, let's see if we have anything better. So 54% or plus 54 evasion. That's pretty good. Anything here have an ability? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um I think I might just go with three rerolls. And 63 life. Both of those do that. Rerolls are really the only thing I actually use. I'm gonna just do this for now. 63 health is a lot. Um okay. Now we need a drink it. Or a ring. So I'm going to continue buffing strike damage. So that's 13% more strike damage, 2% cooldown reduction, and 112% more God Blessing level up buffers. That's a fucking lot. 112% more God Blessing up level buffers. So, okay. Those aren't necessarily the greatest because they don't really give you much buffs, but they at least they like up your up up the level. So whenever you do get buffed, it's 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 pretty good. So okay, so strike damage, strike critical chance, more expert offers. Not terrible. Fifty one percent strike damage, two rerolls. Fifty six, or sixty sixty five percent strike damage. Cooldown, alterations, five strike. You know what? I'm gonna go with this. 19% strike damage, 0.7% critical. Cooldown, and then a more expert offers. So we'll kind of buff our expert offers here. Got a pretty pretty decent amount of stuff that'll buff our buff our offers for expert. Um. We can equip one of these guys. Strike damage 26%. 22% attack critical chance. Attack critical chance. We have more of these. We will just do the 26% strike damage. Hopefully our arrows do strike damage. I hope I'm not just like wasting all this shit. Um, we need a belt. Evasion and luck. Do that for now. Oops. And then, oh, we got a lot more slots now for equipment. Awesome. A lot more equipment slots. 
Okay, um, I don't have any fucking boots or anything. What the hell? He need he wears light stuff. Um, of course I don't have any weapons. So let's actually. Do I want to keep these? So I guess we'll keep this. Even though it's not the greatest. And then the ring. Might as well just keep it for now. Then we'll sell the rest. As long as it's not mythic. I'll just store those for now even though I'll probably won't use them okay so we have gloves 4,000 shard pull area well we'll use that for now until we find something better not bad uh, boots is there any boots 20 invasion 24 movement speed Four armor not the greatest but that's all we have for now until we uh, find some better equipment. Uh, weapon. I don't. Uh, they don't sell a, a bow. That kind of sucks. Okay. Well. Kind of feel like we're gonna probably lose our first, our first uh, bout here. Just purely based off of history. Um, let's see what we're at right now. So, one outer circle. So, right now, I have difficulty zero. Right now, is that what we're at? So, is there select stage? Doesn't seem like I can do that right now. Maybe I have to with a different character if I swap characters maybe but uh we'll just go with stage one act one for now with this guy um I will up the difficulty just a bit here enemies so it's the same ones I think enemies have 10% more life so 50% more life don't have a bow yet so my damage is not going to be great you know what, let's just get through i know it's kind of lame but we're just going to go through as kind of the first one without any kind of difficulty here to see how this guy plays okay there's a two straight attacks and then a three Interesting. Conquest and glory. All right, Krom. Whoa, what the hell is that shit on the side there? Attack. Strike. Strike. There's different damage types now. What is this? Wonder what these mean. We'll find out, I guess. Um Well, I have strike damage like super buffed on this guy, so I guess we'll go with strike damage for now, so I like Chains of War, and I like Shurikens as well. Like, they do rupturing, rupturing damage is pretty good. Let's do Chains of War for now, for uh, plus rage damage. It's like, yeah, my strike damage is buffed up pretty, pretty good. Like, if I look right now, can I see it from here? No? I don't see strike slots, three blessing slots. Blessing slots. Huh. I can't see a percentage strike. Strike damage, 130% right now. 
right off the bat. So, not bad, not bad. So, Krom was a good, uh, was a good guy to get off get right off the bat. Okay, so we got Summer. So, attack, searing attack, fury, attack faster, flare, power. Interesting. Passive. Well, might just go faster attack. Though, searing attack isn't bad either. I'm just going to go passive. Uh, we're just going to go with fury right now. Attack faster. 7% faster. I wonder if we'll get a new god, um, or if that's something that happens when you get to the different the, uh, Act 2. 4% power damage. I think our... No, I'm not too sure. I think power damage is like the elemental damage. I think. Summer always has to interfere. It's like she's addicted to the attention. All right, so we got winter. Um, we'll go dive. I love dive. Um, as my dash, it just does a lot of AOE. So dash is its own separate thing. Oh, cast is elemental damage. The power is something different. Weird. Okay. I'm going to go with dive. Um, my favorite dash move. So I'll take that. Okay, so we got the archer. They woke me up because of you. And you're down. So this guy isn't too bad right now. Um, obviously I don't have a, a, a bow yet, so the, uh, damage isn't going to be the greatest yet. Okay, so we got a couple expert power-ups here. So, chilling attack, frost ring. Range and velocity go down, so there's negatives. So I don't think that was, that was, uh, a thing before. Okay, so they've, they added some, uh, some negatives when you upgrade. Okay. Range and velocity. Attack damage up by 39%. Projectile count two. I'm gonna go a chilling attack. Expert. Okay, yeah. So I shoot three and then five. Three, three, and five. That's pretty sweet. And it's chilling attack, so it slows the enemies. Get some health there. So already, I kind of already feel like this guy is going to become overpowered real quick. I could be wrong. I found that Maris was not the greatest, like even though she's ranged, her attacks are ranged. I, I found it her not the greatest. This guy already kind of seems overpowered um your attacks become stronger and applied shield chilling attacks so just ups our damage to 77 immobilized enemies take more damage i'm gonna go with the chilling attack again get our damage up to 77 percent So, ups our power by 4%. Yeah, I'm still not too sure. I'll have to kind of figure out what uh, all the power types are. I don't necessarily think I have anything to do with power yet on um, any of my upgrades. So, strike. Every few attack hits, you breathe fire and that damages enemies in front of you. I actually like that. Meteor Shower is a really good attack too, but that's casting. I'm going to go Breath of Fire Expert because that's something that we have. Strike damage is something that we have a uh, pretty big bonus in right now. 
We're gonna try to uh, make a strike build, I guess, is kind of essentially what I have laid out for myself. Let's see if that uh, works out in the end. So far, like I said, this guy seems pretty, pretty overpowered, but I am playing on the lowest difficulty. Um, we're just gonna go with the uh, plus 16% damage against enemies above 50% health. It's pretty decent. I favor your persistence, mortal, but you will need to achieve to earn my respect. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay, sweet, awesome. Um, chains of war up to expert, or you deal more damage to enemy barriers and bosses. Blades. See, I'm gonna just I yeah I'm gonna go blades here. Get some blades that running around the screen here. Hell yeah, just do more rupturing damage. Make sure I evade the blades. Missed. What did I miss? Chest. Nothing in it. Okay, we hit four minutes. Here comes the blobs. So knockback, blades, chains of war. Um, we're gonna go blades upgraded. Do uh, four four hundred and forty-four damage each. Yeah, we're gonna go blades. Pretty sure the next upgrade will uh, give us another blade, so we'll have three blades going at the same time. Yeah, we're just eating through the blobs. Not bad. Okay, so we got Frost Wolves. That's a new one. Frost Wolves fight alongside you, chilling enemies they hit. So that's a summon. Sweet. Okay, so now there's more summons. Because it was only Mort that was giving you summons before, so. Awesome. Frost Zones. On cooldown, Frost Zones spawn at random, damaging enemies and leaving a trail of frost that chills enemies walking on it. Is that new as well? I'm gonna take frost zones. See what that's about. I think is that yeah, no, never mind. That's not new. That's not new. I just don't feel like it was called frost zones before. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay, let's kill the freaking gargoyle. There we go. Weird how he's like a has a, like the the star above him, and so he's like a boss, but he doesn't drop loot. So I think he's the only one with a. Oh no, I guess the uh, skeleton archer doesn't drop anything either. Guess I didn't really need to do that, but it's okay. Uh. We're gonna keep going with Breath of Fire. Okay, so now that I look at that. Chilling attack. So I wonder what this means when there's only a couple slots here. Huh. Does that mean I can only have that many? That's probably what that means. Because, yeah, obviously you can only have one dash move. Attack, you can only have one attack. I, I That's known. Okay, so they've given you a cap on how many attacks you can do. Okay, that's what that means. You can only have one passive? 
or is that unlimited? That's lame if you can only have one passive. Um, we're gonna go Breath of Fire again, just to up the damage. Okay. Because I don't think there was a cap at all before. I think you could have just went unlimited amount of like attack types. But maybe there wasn't as many. I think they added some, obviously. They added a summon there for uh, winter here. Okay. Another boss. Oh, shit. What am I missing here? Oh, the luck. Okay, here we go. Let's pick that up. What do we got? Path of Frost. I like that. Frost zones or chilling attack. Up to 114. We're going to go with Path of Frost. That's a power move. Expert Path of Frost. Okay, sweet. So far, all the drops have been pretty shite. All common weapons, so nothing to really... Nothing usable. Okay, Breath of Fire. We'll upgrade that for now. Okay, seven minutes in. Necromancer. Oh, you can see the Necromancer. I wonder if you could, could, could see him before. I, I don't think you could have. So we'll up her health by three. He's, she shows up on the mini map now. Where'd he go? There he is. I don't have to be like right by him with this guy. He's kind of like... The only problem with this guy is I can't really aim, right? Like, so his, his attacks are kind of random. So I can only really just hope that he's attacking uh, the Necromancer. But it's definitely a lot easier to avoid the Necromancer when you don't have to stand right next to him and get like the chance of like taking all fucking six of his fucking fireballs at once that can really end a run real quick okay he's almost dead a quarter of health left so one of my da attacks is doing like 600 800 i saw 800 damage that's not bad okay We need to kill the Necromancer real quick here. Before we get swarmed. Try to get him with our Chains of War. Got him! Oh, I didn't get, uh... Didn't get, uh, upgraded for that. What the hell? Swan. Uh, I don't think I've... Yeah, we'll do this. Heart is corrupt. Fuck sakes. That's a loss of 5% luck. Yeah, I definitely like the 4,000 shard pull area. Definitely helps a lot, especially because he's a ranged character. Okay, let's see what the tree is. So gain 50% dash recharge speed. We're gonna do the dash speed. Recharge speed, 15%. That seems like a lot. Oh shit, what the fuck? Summer. We're getting swarmed. Yes, she's my sister, and I'd rather not talk about her. Okay. So we'll go up with uh, Path, of, Path of Frost. Frustration, 5.9 seconds. Movement speed is plus 20 to, like, doubles my movement speed. I guess it does, it's not really affected when you're doing auto attack. So it doesn't really affect me. 
At least I don't think, like, movement speed only affects it when you're not attacking auto attack, so. That's like, never, so. Okay, a skeleton. Do not mock me, mortal. Okay, so he drops the chest. Um, we are gonna go... Well, kinda only makes sense to go with Breath of Fire. We're gonna go Breath of Fire. Okay, so we're 10 minutes in. Five minutes left, or does this go up to 20? I always forget if it goes to 15 or 20. I think it might go to 20. So far, this guy isn't too bad. I'm assuming once I upgrade his bow, it's gonna be even crazier. Okay, so let's go knockback. That's a passive, so I can get more than one passive. Sweet. I'm gonna go knockback 40%. Yeah, it would only make sense if you could get, like, unlimited passives. Like, it kind of would suck if you could only get one. Okay, I'm not going to pick the grave. Upper health by three. Eleven minutes in comes the skeleton swarms. Get a bit of gold. Upper attack. Get some shield. Okay, so we will up our frost zones. Just make some bigger, do more damage. Nothing in the chest. Oh, oh shit. Okay. This is where it gets hard. Gotta make sure I uh, pay attention. Don't get trapped in by them. Should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna go. I really would kind of want to up my fury attack faster, but. I'm just gonna keep going with Breath of Fire. Yep. Does like 1200 damage. To a pretty wide area, so. Yep. Chilling attack, icebound, path. Frost. All experts. Mobilize enemies, take more damage, your attacks become stronger. Let's go chilling attack. Up my attacks to 114%. Damn. Kinda let my health go down pretty low there. These guys are kinda hard to avoid sometimes. Especially if you're not paying attention. Okay, 13 minutes in. Here we go. Let's heal up a bit. Okay. I think 14 is when we get the Baron's henchman. I don't pay. Left hand and right hand, I think. Okay, so we are gonna go blades and 
get in a, a third blade. Some health. Sweet. Let's get another ability. I think we're gonna up our chains of war. Dragon scale. Heal up. Oh shit, I'm out of uh out of space. I don't have any more item slots. Gonna probably have to drop a couple things here. Kinda picked up everything knowing that I was probably gonna have to drop oh, a bunch of items. My sister? Okay, fine. I guess you need to cool off from time to time. You can't be searing hot like me all the time. Alright. Uh Breath of Fire or Fury. I'm gonna go with Fury this time. Up my attack speed to 14%. Okay, so Baron's left hand, right hand. Let's make sure we don't be dumb. So avoid attacks here. Right, okay, so one of them's like going down pretty quickly here. Baron's right hand. Not bad. Okay, we got one of them down. Come on. Here we go. One down. Okay, so we got a mythic item out of that. Can't pick it up yet, but I'll have to drop what I got here. Um, let's drop a bunch of this shit. So let's drop this. Why? 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 Oh, I guess I sh didn't store a couple items when I uh, should have. Okay, let's... um. Any other common things? Let's drop that. Drop that. Drop that. <clears throat> drop that. Okay. I need to like dodge as soon as I exit this. Okay, got it. Strange amulet of power. Baron's left hand. Almost dead. Almost got him. Shit. I got hit. Yeah, I definitely had higher difficulties. I'm gonna need a better weapon. Because I am, like, dying pretty, pretty quickly. Blood swords. Sword damage and rupture enemies around you. Swords damage and rupture enemies. Blood sword. Summon. Interesting. I'm gonna do that. Just, just to keep on keeping on with Krom. You only get one summon, so... That kind of sucks, only getting one summon. Because, like, if you get more as a god, it means you can only get one summon. That, that's, that's fucking lame. I wonder if it's character dependent. Like, if I played as Maris, would I get different kind of uh, upgrade slots? Um... Okay, what do I want to do here? I'm going to up my chilling attack. 151% damage. Let's make sure I don't take any dumb damage here. Nothing. Three more health. I have a decent amount of health here, 120 health, so it's not bad. I guess I do have that one item that upped my health by 60, so definitely helps a lot. Power damage. Swords are pretty funny looking. Hopefully I get the passive. Oh, okay, here we go. I so dizzy. It's so exhilarating. I wonder what you'll choose as your next step. There we go, the fates. Awesome, expert 
bait ability. Okay, so your attack shoots more projectiles plus three. Area minus 40. Whoa. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. So now my arrows... I have like a shit ton more arrows. I wonder if I can find one that does uh, um, puncture damage or whatever, like penetrate damage, so it like goes through, passes through enemies. Kind of looks like they already do that. Yeah. Maybe not. That's awesome. So what? I think my main attack, like it, it's like six, six, and uh, eight now. Okay, I'm gonna go. As much as like an expert upgrade is way better than a freaking novice, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with fury attack speed up to twenty percent, twenty one percent. That's pretty huge. Like you see, I attack a lot faster right now. Like it's noticeable. Okay, 17 minutes, we're glocked in. We have to deal with the stupid golden fucking plate. I actually, like, this is my... I I hate this freaking enemy the most. Blood swords or blades? I'm gonna go with blood swords upgrade. Do more damage. Golden plate's almost down. Yeah, there's not much I can do when it comes to aiming. Just kind of got to hope that my guy just aims towards the, the right guy. I think I got the plate. I think he's down. Sweet. Okay, almost 18 minutes. All we have to deal with now is Dracula. We got a couple big swarms that come, but they're not too bad. Do I have shurikens yet? I'm gonna go with shurikens. So this run has not been too bad. I've had worse runs that are at like the freaking normal difficulty, so. This is not going bad at all. And that's even like without a weapon. I don't even have a, a weapon. So that's, I think we're doing pretty good. We will go meteor shower. Let's go meteor shower just to get more attacks. Like even though we're limited on our attacks, she still get a lot of different attacks. I definitely wanted to focus on uh, strike damage, just purely because that's what our all our equipment upgrades are. But okay, 19 minutes in. One more minute, and we got the Baron. I don't see him on the mini map. I'm ready to kill him. Blood sword, shriekens, bloodlust. You gain attack speed for every ruptured enemy. That's the upgrade I love. That is a freaking awesome upgrade, and I'm gonna do that. Especially when you have a lot of rupturing damage attacks. Your attack speed just gets ridiculous when you get swarmed. I am just clearing the enemies now. Kind of doesn't work so well when it's only one enemy you're facing, but it's okay. Yeah. 
Victory shall be remain. Okay, let's try to win here. Already got him down a bit of health here. Damn it. I don't know if you can even dodge that attack. Like, it kind of just seems like it just tracks you no matter what. Unless you evade it. But it seems like you can't really evade that attack or dodge it at least. Half health. Nice. Now this hasn't been too bad. Uh, we're going to go with Fury. Upgraded to Adept. It's only a 3% increase, but now uh, we're it doesn't really matter. We're almost we're almost done. Yeah, I don't think you can evade that attack. The, that one? Yeah, no. It seems a little too quick. Dracula's almost dead. Hell yeah, okay. So there's our first round. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, sweet. Now, does that allow us to into Act 2 now? Or do we have to do some more, uh, more things? So, Shurikens, even though I didn't, uh, have those, I literally only had one level on them, and they had our most DPS at 4.4. .4. So, keep that in mind that Shurikens do a shit ton of fucking damage. Okay. What else? We had the uh, Breath of Fire and the Chilling Attack. Yeah. I didn't end up getting any uh, expert upgrades or legend upgrades, but. Or no, not expert. We got all like, expert, sorry. I didn't get any legend upgrades. But it didn't really matter. It was easy enough. Constellarium upgrade. Okay, so that was green. Outer circle. Now I have Constellarium upgraded. I'm assuming if I... Can I select... Yes. Endless Desert. Act 2. Here we go. Okay, did I get any... With Lorien? What did I do here? So... I killed a thousand skeletons as Lorien, saving the day, and then well traveled, traversed five fifty thousand distance as Lorien. So I got two achievements, so I can have two campfire upgrades now. Um, let's talk to Maris. No one sings your praises around here. Oh wait, your own ego is plenty. Your fiery spirit is cold as ever, sis. Okay, let's talk to Scatty. So, Maris is actually a princess? Yes. Wow. So, I was drinking royalty tea. <laughs> oh, man. This game is kind of funny. Why? Well, I just remembered we skipped the introductions. I'm Lorian. Your sis told me. I'm next. See. Splendid. Cool. What does Grant have to say? Ha ha ha. So obvious, your brother of Mary. Yes. Red and blue hair colors are obvious sibling trait. Siblings as in do not see. You same kind of snowy elf. And same come as help. It's good to have you. Right. Okay, let's sell some of our shit. Maybe we can buy some shit. Okay, there's a bow we can buy. Awesome. Let's uh just sell all this useless shit. Um, anything that's not mythic is basically useless to me. Okay. So what do we have here? So sovereign amulet power, power, damage, and duration. Compare that to what we have. interest shard full area i'm gonna keep with the expert because the expert i got a shit ton of expert upgrades like that was awesome um i was evading pretty decently i'm gonna keep this this uh lucky belt of evasiveness for now until maybe there's something better 
Um, we're gonna store the rest of that shit, and then even though this bow is only epic, we're gonna grab it. So plus one summon count, one reroll, and one alteration. So this is kind of like for summon, plus one projectile as well. Hell yeah. Thousand eleven thousand range, three point two area, four counts, and angling. There's a lot of things I don't really know what uh what mean. Okay, interesting. Well, until we get a better bow, that's that's what we'll stick with. Um, there's no more mythic stuff in the shop unless there is stuff that I just can't mount. Okay, so what's this? Always want to look at the shop and see if any of the mythic upgrades have abilities. Mainly looking for the dragon companion. Okay, so nothing there. Let's just store the rest of this shit. Try to keep my uh, inventory somewhat, um, somewhat organized. Helps try and track down what you're looking for later on. Okay, so that's our storage there. Um, so this guy wasn't too bad. Um, let's see what his abilities are here. Um, what the hell? Oh. What's going on? Oh, you can't select abilities anymore? Weird. Um, I'm just gonna... I guess I will stick with this guy for now. I'm confused. How do you select... Your ability. Okay. What is this? So I have four. blue orb things here and it looks like I can spend them on upgrades here um right so menu scotty florian so sorry how do I do this what the hell So L1 is just like your stats. R1 is your upgrade. Okay. Acute senses. You have chance to dodge hits. 2% dodge. Marksman. Your strikes deal more damage. Strike damage plus 3%. Tutelage. You receive more level up offers for your blessings. Plus 33%. Initiate. Press... Uh, Prescience, prescience, prescience. You gain more control over your god offers, plus two alterations. And you can't upgrade to the next level until you spend five points. So, okay. A different kind of um, passive upgrades, I guess, now? They don't... Okay, interesting. Okay, so we'll go strike. Marksman, plus three. How do I spend it looks like I have four or maybe I don't how do I spend
Do I have to be somewhere? I'm confused. Level up to 40 as Lorian. Defeat the Insect Queen as Lorian, so that's probably Act 2. Lose an attempt as Lorian. Win an attempt as Lorian using Whistling Arrow Talent. Win an attempt as using the Basket in Greatness Talent. So, Talents. Interesting. I kind of... How do I fucking upgrade here? Is that not something I can do right now? Like, it looks like I have four points. I could be wrong. I guess maybe I'm wrong. Because I'm pressing, like, every button here, and it's... Not doing anything here. Do I need to be at the bonfire? No. Do I need to be here? No. I feel like I... I honestly feel like that's... Constellarium. Found it. So this is where I spend. Reset 500 whatever that is. What is that? 500 what? Some skull thing. So we're going to go with strikes, marksman. Three, and then six. And then dodge plus two, I guess. We'll go with plus two dodge, and then up to four. Not bad. Okay, so we're going to do that with Lorian, and then we're going to do another round with him. And I guess we'll check out Act 2. I've never seen Act 2 before. Um, we're just going to be basic ass and just do the base. No difficulty. So Endless Desert is what the new act is called. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. So, the new weapon I had, I thought it said plus one projectile, maybe projectile, spell projectiles maybe? Because I, I, I have the same amount of projectiles. I tirelessly to create the most resplendent scenery, only for death to scare everyone away. Oh, if there was but a single winter free of him. Okay, so we got winter. I'm gonna just go with dive. I love dive. I think it's the best dash move in my opinion. Maybe there will be different dash moves with different gods. I don't, I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna keep upgrading dive because it's adapt. Here's the skeleton guy. He doesn't talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? Okay, new enemies. Got like an elemental. As cold as she is, Lady Justice. Winter knows the bounds of her domain. A virtue that not all in her family share. It's interesting how they know what uh, like they they like know what gods have already popped up. Light rays. On cooldown, light rays spawn on the battlefield and continuously damage enemies for a limited duration. It's a cast. So that's a new one from um uh, Lady Justice. She usually doesn't do any damage spells, so now she they added some added some spells. Which I actually might go with that. We're gonna go with uh, light rays for now. Never seen it. Okay, sweet. Um fuck. Okay, so this like freaking earth elemental. That's a new one. What's that? Blaring Seal. Plus 4% cast. Ok, 
Okay, we got a different enemy here. There is no justice on the battlefield. From. So now we have some strike damage. Attacks become stronger and knock back enemies. That actually might be really good with this character. I'm going to go rampaging attack. Yeah, I think that actually might be really good with this character. Okay, so there's new towers that you pick up new different abilities with on this map. Damn. Definitely a couple new enemy types. Okay, so power. Okay, let's... Woohoo! Some masters. Okay, Frost Ring or Path of Frost? We're gonna go with Path of Frost. Six second duration and movement speed plus 16. That doesn't really... Doesn't affect us too much here. Okay, Divine Shield or Reprisal Light Rays. Cooldown, you gain a shield that prevents damage the next time. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, there's a chance you become um, your attacker becomes smited. 12%. We're going to go with Divine Shield for now. 26% uh, or 26 second recharge whenever you actually do get hit. But it's a free... Free prevention of damage there, so... Might as well take that. Another cast. Oh no. Oh, so that shield of triumph. Seal of triumph. So there's different types of seals that up my damage percentage. Two minutes in. May your quest be blessed by the righteous. All right, all right, all right. Piety. You restore more from life and all sorts. So that they renamed a couple of the... Uh, that definitely wasn't called Piety before. They renamed some of these uh, abilities. Which I'm going to grab Piety. Movement speed. What's this? Strange turquoise. Evasiveness for 30 seconds. Nice. Bonfire. Deserted well. Nothing. Okay. The extraordinary cactus. Much is your thirst. Plus the life regen for uh, 90 seconds. Seal of Precision does more attack damage. What's this? We got a... Uh, uh, it's almost kind of like the Necromancer. A boss. But he's not necessarily like a head boss. Uh, let me give you a reading of what your fate holds. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got the fates. Your attacks shoot more projectiles. That was really awesome, and I'm probably going to go with that again. These other two aren't the greatest, so I'm going to go with uh, Gemini. We're going to do that again. Gives us a bunch more arrows. Helps with our pushback as well. Like, Okay. Whoa. Okay, new enemies. Some sort of like big-ass gorilla-looking fuckers. This uh, wizard guy is like uh, not going down easy. I'm wondering if he's summoning things as well. Kind of looks like he's summoning archers. Damn. Okay, so this is definitely a little harder. The enemies are are a bunch beefier. Your dash deals more damage, twenty five percent. Strike. Well, I'm going to do a strike, seeing as how we haven't had one yet. Chains of War. Might as well do that. So we hit the four minute mark. We're closed in. I wonder what's going to come in and attack us now. Whoa. Kitty cats. Whoa, what the fuck? 
Lady Justice is harsh, but also merciful. Order is a difficult thing to maintain, especially in the realm of the gods. Okay. How Path of Frost, we'll, we'll just keep upgrading that. So we got laser beam kitty cats. Interesting. Damn it! Holy shit, and they track. Holy shit. Okay. The beams are freaking long, too. Holy crap, dude. All right. Well, it's definitely, uh, definitely different from the first act. Now it looks like we have a little bit more of um, an incentive to upgrade uh, certain characters now. I might swap over to Scotty. He's my uh, he's my favorite character so far, and my most powerful, mainly because he has a pet dragon. I wonder if he still has a pet dragon. I don't know if that uh, I don't know if that's still a thing. Oh, I might die. Holy shit! I'm gonna probably die here. There's like. New enemies that I'm freaking having a hard time with? Like, holy shit. They're like jackals? All sins lay bare. Let's hope we get a passive up, like, passive uh, healing here. Radiance. An aura that damage enemies around you. Damage enemies takes increased every second it stays in the aura. So we don't have passive. I almost want to re roll and see if we can get a um, uh, passive health upgrade here. I'm going to re-roll, actually. You cast, have a large area, divine shield, light rays. I'm going to go with the cast, have a larger area as a passive. I don't think I really have much casts yet, but once I do... What is this? What is this? Please be health. Evasion. Damn it, I need some health here, man. Bad. I can't take any more damage. Please be health. Please be health. Please be health. Give me some health, please. What is this? Down to full health. Awesome. Okay, I got some health. A simple arc of stone, cold to the touch, stands before you and, and through it. The mantle of the cosmos. Touch the cosmos, gain 12% damage. Gaze into the cosmos, get 18% area. Deny the cosmos and get 14% to I'm gonna go damage, 12% damage. I really gotta find some more health here. Try to avoid damage as best as possible. Shit. Sometimes I can't really even tell where damage is coming from. The archers are a uh, generic pen. Path of Frost, Dive, or Shatter. Chilled and frozen enemies below a certain threshold instantly shatter and die. 10%. That's a decent amount. I'm going to go with sh uh, Shatter. I feel like 10% is a lot. Okay. Fuck. Those freaking laser kitties are really rough. Moon Sphere. The dark sphere in front of you seems to be an ancient enchantment holding power that is waiting to be released. Engulfed in darkness, gain 20% damage to enemies at 50% life or more. 1% chance to heal life on attack. That's really shitty. Gain 1%, 100% chance to heal barely any life on kill. But like, 100% chance to heal on every kill. I'm gonna take that. It's not much health, but it's at least something. Oasis. Every desert journeyman's most precious find. An oasis. Uplifting sensation. Gain 0.3 life regeneration for 60 seconds. Heal fully. I'm gonna heal fully. Because I'm, like, desperate. So. 6% dash damage. Nice. 
Attack damage plus four percent damage. Nice. The cursed. Seven minutes in. And I'm enclosed. What the fuck? So it's like a mummy that does spell damage. Has some sort of poisonous cloud. Damn, dog. And I have barely even touched it. So I have to kind of be around it. Dude, this thing's nuts. I've barely scratched it so far. Man. And it doesn't really move. But its cloud definitely moves. So, damn. Well, I'm no longer enclosed. Does it follow me if I just fuck off? I'm assuming it follows me. Yeah, it just popped up top of the screen there. Path of Frost, Ice Shards. Your attack hits and has a chance to throw ice shards that deal ice damage to frost wolf. I'm gonna get expert frost wolves and get seven of them. Okay. What is this arrow pointing at? What was that? Why was it pointing here? Weird. What is this? What is this? Did I just. I wonder why the arrow was pointing this way. Stone coffin. Minus 5% luck. Awesome. I was thinking I shouldn't have opened it, and I did it anyways just to see what it was. I won't do that again. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wizard. Ah! I'm just going in the same direction, nothing more. Say, have you seen any sleazy rogue that got stuck up warrior around? I bet they're following me. Well, anyway, since we're headed in the same direction, might I offer some tips on spellcasting? You look like you might be in need of something like that just right now. Spellcaster fingers gain fibers 15% cooldown reduction. I need a friend's gain 27% summon damage. I'm gonna take the summoning damage. And whatever the fuck these what the hell, dude? What are these laser things? Like I seemingly can't avoid it. Okay, this fucking mummy thing. Brutal. I am not gonna make it past this. This is uh I'm almost dead. Damn, dog. I barely do any damage to this, the uh, mummy and these laser things. Holy shit. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So we made it almost to 10 minutes on our first round of uh, Act 2 there. Probably going to swap over to Scotty. Damn. Okay. So, I wonder if that means we're level 4. Yeah. 4 of 4. Why did you come? Why? It's a hero's responsibility. Some hero you are. Okay. We didn't really pick anything up. the fuck is this ancient hieroglyph relic what the fuck what 
What does it do? Tier 2. What does this do? I'm gonna just leave it on right now, but. Huh. Nexty? I thought your Wrath of Elves didn't surface much. I'm not some reptile that surfaces. They called fish. Don't talk to me like I've lived my whole life in a hole. Well. Shut up. Okay, so Act 2 is pretty difficult. Got a, definitely a bunch of new enemies there. Um, that was quite difficult. I can, I must say. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid the fucking kitties with the freaking laser beams on their tails, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, we're going to end it today and then, uh, probably move forward with Scotty next time. Until next time, if you, if you liked what you've seen, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It'd really help a lot for the channel to grow. Until next time, peace.